Hi everybody, uh, today I'm going to give a uh, little drill called the star drill random practice to help you make these four, five, six, seven foot putts. Uh, my name is Frank Longabuco. I'm a golf program instructor here at Kaiser University's College of Golf at our flagship campus in West Palm Beach. We're at our uh, putting green outdoor facility, driving range, uh, short game area in the back. So I've scattered five balls uh, about seven, six to seven feet uh, around the cup, and I'm going to work my ray around. The key to this drill, to this practice, is that I pay attention to my intention. I'm going through my full process just like I will and just like I would on uh, the golf course. One of the things that happens when we practice is there's no intent. Uh, so right now I'm going to focus uh, on doing everything I'm going to do on the golf course, the same procedure, and then uh, I would like to try to relax my eyes a little bit and settle my eyes before I hit the putt. So just like I would on the golf course, right, I've got it marked, I'm reading it, looks like a left center putt. I'm getting a good image in my head, coming into it three steps just like I would, square my club, down the line, back again, and now I'm letting my eyes relax, I'm letting them settle. I would like to let them settle for a second or two before I strike the putt, and then a second or two after I strike the putt. The last thing we need is our eyes to be darting all over the place, uh, not very good for putting. So relax yourself, let your mind relax, stick to the process, don't worry so much about the outcome. Okay, so even though that didn't go in, that was a really good putt. And I'm going to work, work my way around, reading each putt. I see right edge, maybe a half ball out. Move it in. Down my line back. Going to let my eyes settle. That's okay. I really hit that putt where I wanted to. I misread it. So I'm learning as I'm moving around the cup how to read the greens correctly, training my eyes. When I get done with the star drill, uh, I'll move over and start training with one ball. <laughs> okay, just like we play golf on the golf course. Um, I got the putt. I'm seeing it. Right now, my only focus is externally at the target, move in, down the line back, let them settle, okay so I learned something there and just like on the golf course I would go ahead and mark this ball Go back through my routine, one ball, random practice. All right, that's going in the memory bank. So a fair amount of block practice, uh, maybe five to 10% of your time, move away from it, get into some drills, and some random practice, then finish up with one ball, some kind of game, and uh, keep it moving. Uh, you don't want to do the same thing over and over and over again. If I hit the same exact putt over and over again, I'm going to get pretty good at it, <laughs> hopefully. But that's not the way the game is played. Uh, the game is played randomly, and we have to make these uh, adjustments as we go. Build skills with lots of random practice, games. The guided block practice I set up there will help many things and give us a lot of feedback. And even the putt I missed over here 
you know what I learned I played too much break on that one and uh, all these things will benefit you and help you make uh, more putts all right uh, subscribe to the U channel uh, tube channel listed below like to hear from you give us some feedback some comments uh, try these drills and especially the guided block practice play lots of games good luck look forward to hearing from you have a great day